Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Link Warden on Run Tippy. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So... Let's get back to your registered programming. We'll be installing Link Warden. Uh, it's a self-hosted collaborative bookmark manager to collect, organize, and preserve web pages and articles. Um, here's some screenshots of it. And here's the features. It's got dark and light mode for the UI, auto capture, screenshot, PDF, and readable view of each web, web page. Um, so that's a little bit about Link Warden. So now I'm going to start on the Run Tippy App Store uh, GitHub. I'm going to go over to the search here and type Link in. Now I'm going to go to Link Warden. So they, the metadata is the description and the logo. And then config.json explains every, uh, everything the technical way, like the name, the uh, port that it'll use, available, exposable, ID, tippy version, the version, and then the categories that it's in, a description, short description, author, and then source, and then the form fields. It's going to generate a random uh, a, a a database a password for Link Warden. And it's going to be a minimum of 32 characters. Same thing with this. Minimum 32 characters and the next off secret. And then it's going to disable the registration. It's going to say this is required false. And then the default value is going to be false. Um, all these have the ENV uh, a, a variable, a link warden, a DB password, a link warden, next off secret. And then a link warden, next public disable registration. And then... The, the supported architectures that the Docker image supports are ARM64 and AMD64. So, if we go over the Docker Compose, so the version of the Docker Compose being used is 3.7. And then ser services, and then the first service and then underneath services is called Link Warden. The image is coming off of GitHub because it's this URL right here. This is the Docker image, and then this is the Docker image tag. The container name is going to be called Link Warden. The environment va uh, variables are the d a database URL, the next auth secret, the next auth URL, and the next public disable registration. If you see here the da a database URL, it has the Link Warden DB password, the um, the environment variable uh, over here, and then it sets the environment variable for the Link Warden next auth secret. And then that was over here too, right here. And then the app do a domain. And then um, the uh, uh, di disable a registration, the environment variable over in the config.json. Here we go. And then it's going to say restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for a reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then I'm going to uh, set volumes, so app data, dir a directory, and then de a data, a link warden, and then this is on the host side. And then on the container side is data, data. The, the, the ports are at, at port, which is on a dynamic uh, a variable, and then uh, 3000 on the cont a container. And then config.json, if you go over here to port right here, 8199. Uh, that's this one. So it uh, depends on the link warden a DB service down here. And then the networks is going to be on Tippy main network. Uh, they, uh, the labels are set to access it from traffic. So main, web, the web secure, the local domain, and then the local domain secure. And then it's going to set a, another service down here below the services. And this is to set up the DB, the uh, where all of uh, the data is stored. So this is the UI part, 
and then this is the D a DB to where all the data. So now container name is going to be called Link Warden DB, and then the image is coming off of Docker Hub by default, and this is Postgres. This is the Docker image, and then it is using the latest tag. Restart and let's stop. So that means if you stop it for a reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then environment variable. So the Postgres user is Tippy. Postgres password is link warden, a DB password that was gotten from the config.json over here, the random. And then um, the Postgres DB, the one that's cr created first, is link warden. And then vo volumes, so app, uh, app da data directory, and then the data Postgres, this is on the host, and then this is on the container side, var lib Postgres QL uh, da data. And then it this is set up in the Tippy main network as well. So um, that's a little bit about the Docker Compose. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club all right, uh, uh, you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, now I'm going to start on the RunTB dashboard. I'm going to go to App Store, and then I'm going to type in the search link. And then Link Warden's right here, so I'm going to click it. Now, you can see the description of what was in the metadata. The, the, this is the ba a base info. So source code, author, the port is 8199, and then the categories is data, the version, and then supported architectures. Um, now I'm going to say install. Now you can decide if you want to disable re registration, dis uh, display on guest dashboard, and, or expose app. I'm going to just say install. Now what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker images off the registries, get them abstracted, and get them up with Docker Pose underneath because this does use the Docker engine. So this can take a little bit to install. So now we got it installed and it's up and running. So now I'm going to start on my run tippy. I'm going to go to my apps and then link warden right here. So the, the, the actions are stop and then open in the web UI. And then settings, you can turn on, uh, turn off disable registration. Uh, you can d display on guest dashboard, and you can expose the app. You can also reset the app or update if you change some of these. Um, you can see the base info and the description. So that's a little bit about the container options for Run Tippy. So now I'm going to be on my Run Tippy. And I'm going to uh, go, go to my apps and then link warden. So now I'm going to open into the web UI so you can go to your IP and then the port. So I'm going to click it. So now we're on the sign in. So I'm going to sign up and put your display name in, a username, and then a password. Then confirm password. Now, now sign up. So now we're going to use those credentials that we just put in to log in. So now we are logged in. So on the left, you'll see your sidebar. On the right, you'll see dashboard, recent, and pinned. On the top right, you'll see to where you can change the uh, UI to light to dark. And then you can also create a new link, create a new collection. You can come up here to your user and go to settings. And then you can see all your settings, like appearance, and then archive, and then the API keys, and then password. So you can go backwards, and you can uh, switch to light and dark from here too, or, or you can log out. So let's create our first link. So And then now you can see more options, like you can name the link, put a description, you can add a tag. So there we go, we've created a testing tag. And now you can see recent, you can see we have one link, one, one collection, and one tag. You can go click the tags now and see the link. You can also go in here and have more uh, options like pin to dashboard, show link details, edit link, preserve formats, and delete. 
let's pan it to the dashboard. And now you can come over here to the left and you can go to pins and now you can see it. You can also see all your links, see all your collections. And if you go into the link and go to edit link, and then now you can see it to where you can uh, move it to different collections. So let's create another collections, oh, testing. And then now we have a testing collection over here. So we can go back in the edit link. We can go to testing and now press the save. And now it's moved from the uncategorized to the testing one. So now you can see that that is empty and you can create a new link easy right here. Um, you can go up here to edit collection info, share, collaborate, and delete. So there you go. You can add a color. So that's a little bit about Link Warden's UI. So I just went over step by step on explaining everything and getting Link Warden working on Runtippy. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go out on the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.